Okay, Flutter. Flutter is a framework by Google. Uh, it uses Dart. Dart is a you know Dart is a pretty easy programming language to learn. It's uh it's just it's just like any other object oriented you know programming like programming language like Java or C sharp. Uh, it, it's pretty it's very 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 similar you know. Uh, with basically with Flutter, uh, when it uses Dart, you make you make the interface with code, you know, so you're, you're basically encapsulating classes inside of classes. Uh, it probably, I'm probably making it sound a little bit harder than this because it's really not that bad once you get to, get to working with it. Uh, it's also, uh, one thing that I don't like about Flutter, it's, it's a lot, it's, it's quite a bit of a boilerplate code to get things done. When it comes to doing the, you know, getting the interface together, you know, if it's a stateful widget, you gotta, but there, there's actually shortcuts for that. So it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad, but there, there is more boilerplate than there is with uh, Xamarin or whatever. And it's, it's a fairly young framework, but they're making pretty good strides, uh, pretty good strides with it. It's, it's, it's you, you know, a lot of people, yeah, from all over the world are using this framework. It might, I'm not gonna say that their user base is bigger than Xamarin, because I'm not sure, I don't have any data to support that, but there, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of resource and a lot of people getting behind this framework. So even if Xamarin, I think, is a little bit more polished right now, Flutter's going to catch up, you know? So, and the community's growing. There's a lot of reasons for, behind, you know what, I'm gonna talk about that now, okay? Also, uh, out of the box, I mean, since, you know, since the beginning, it was able to do hot reload. So you didn't have to recompile your code for it to show up on your emulator or on your device. It just pretty much did its thing once you got it, once you got it up and running. It's a very, very similar, um, very similar workflow as to working with something like React or, or, uh, or Angular. Those are two other, well, I use Angular, that's my thing. And also, what I the one other thing I do like about them is they they they're trying to make it write one code base run it anywhere. Okay, I can I, I see where you say and I, I can see where somebody would say okay, well Xamarin does that too, but it does not as far as because they they're trying to make it for the web for the desktop, pretty much for everything. I, I've played with Flutter Web and it's you know it's, it's fairly solid and it's not very hard to make anything product you know make anything make something useful. It has a, it has a, you know, it has, it has media queries just like in, you know, HTML, CC, you know, in, in, uh, in JavaScript so that you can, you, you can, you can query the screen size and, and make your app according to the screen size. So it, it works on, and it works on web pretty well so far. Uh, maybe I'll do some tutorials on that, right? Okay. So let's go with my per personal preferences, okay? Well, like I said, in Xamarin, it, the hot reload, it's in 2000, the 2019 version of Visual Studios that it works. Um, it, it, and I, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it to work for me. Um, so I, I, I'd scale back and I went down to, I went down to uh, Visual Studios 2017 and you know, I, I, I got Xamarin to work, okay? And it is great in IntelliSense. Okay, being that there is a lot of boilerplate, there's a lot of shortcuts, uh, a lot of Zen coding with uh, with with Flutter. So you, it, it definitely makes it feel like it definitely makes it not as bad because you have to write a, a lot of boilerplate code to get anything up and running. Okay, and you have an option. You have options of IDs. Basically, you can pretty much write it on anything. You know, uh, but the two main ones are Visual Studio's code, and then you have uh, Android Studio. And great IntelliSense in both of them, right? And I, I am excited about being able to write once and you know make a website out of that too and have it run on there. Now, they, they have their back run. Uh, a common workflow is to use Firebase with Flutter. It doesn't work right out of the, right now. It doesn't work out of the box with Flutter Web, but I'm pretty sure that'll change in the future, right? So, and another thing is that I do like about it is it's made by Google, meaning that 
All yeah, any you, the most popular phone right now is is an Android phone, right? Being that Google is uh, <clears throat> is responsible or you know creating Flutter, everything will be up to date. Uh, every you know every package, every every new feature that comes out for the Android platform is is going to be supported by Flutter. Now, I mean, Microsoft kind of works pretty works pretty good with everybody nowadays, but them having that inside link, you know, being in the same building and things like that, I think it's something to watch. Now, you know, in conclusion, you'll be able to get done whatever you need to do with either one of these frameworks. You got, you got I mean, it's up to you. You have to choose on this one. I'm going to do some code. I'm going to do some coding side by side in the future. And uh, you can see for yourself which one you like better. So... Peace.